Hello everyone. Welcome to Blue Dragon Actual. So as you can see, today's topic is a conceptual topic and the topic is related to can reserve be negative. Now this is a common, uh, you know, problem with many people that I have faced uh, and they believe that reserve cannot be negative, basically. So what is the real answer for this and what are the implications when reserve can be negative or if at all it can be negative? We are going to consider all of those situations in today's topic. So first of all, the straight answer, can reserve be negative? The straight answer is yes, the reserve can be negative. Why? Because it's a mathematical figure, right? If you have worked on profit, you know it is called mathematical reserve. Reserve is, as I mentioned time and again, there is nothing called reserve. There is no existence of reserve. Uh, reserve is only a mathematical figure that we calculate and that is our liability. And we in life insurance company, we keep asset equivalent to that liability and we invest it in some uh, bonds or some some there there will be some guidelines like we cannot invest those in equity which is volatile so reserve is just a mathematical number right and because it's a mathematical number it can be negative right because it's there is no physical existence of reserve as for example if you are in a, a say my famous you know chocolate company so you are keeping some inventory that is your liability there is a physical existence of it right you want that in 30 days maybe 2000 packs of uh, chocolate would be sold but uh, in life insurance there is no such you know no such physical existence of liability because a service company in service company there cannot be any inventory so that's why uh, in life insurance uh, the liability that we have is a mathematical number and that is reserve and reserve we calculate by uh, assuming very several things of modality expense labs etc etc i'm not going to go into detail of that if you have seen my you know that actual software video i have explained there uh, that how reserve is calculated. I have even shown uh, in GGY axis how reserves are calculated, right? But uh, in this case, uh, the straight answer for this reserve can be negative and that is because it is a mathematical figure. So why there is a, you know, there is a myth or there is a strong belief that reserve cannot be negative? What is the problem basically? What is the problem if reserve is negative? So the problem is reserve means liability, right? And uh, I, I am sure that most people uh, who are telling that reserve is negative, they don't know what the problem is. They just know that reserve is reserve cannot be negative, but uh, they don't know what exactly is the problem. So the problem is reserve means liability. Now negative of liability is what asset, right? Negative of liability would be asset. So if your reserve is negative, then that means if the policy lapses when the reserve is negative, then that would mean you would not get the promised asset, right? Because reserve is something that you have not you are keeping for future use, right? You have not. So if reserve is negative, then it is a asset which you are supposed to get in future, but you, you have not got that, right? So if your reserve is negative and if the policy lapses for some reason, then you would be not getting that uh, asset, right? So that means that if your reserve is uh, negative, uh, then it is an asset and you are losing asset if it, if it lapses. So when can the reserve be negative? So reserve can be negative on best estimate basis. The only reason reserve is positive is because in IFRS 4 or in solvency 1, we have used prudent basis to reserve. That is the common concept, right? Even, even our uh, materials are written on prudent concept. Uh, so if we are calculating reserve on prudent basis, then the then we add some margins to the liabilities, right? Or the, or the negative cash flows, like death benefit, we add some margins, expense, we add some margin. Because of that margin, the expected present value of benefits uh, would increase or expected present value of expense would increase that would mean the and we are not adding any margin to the premium right we are not extra adding anything extra to the premium that instead of receiving 100 rupees we have received 120 rupees we have not we are not doing that so the only the negative cash flows are increasing the positive cash flow is kept the same that's why reserve would come out to be positive and prudent uh, basis but if the reserve is calculated in uh, best estimate basis and provided the contract is written on profitable terms which Oh, no, obviously it should be right if the contract is not written on profitable terms then there has to be some reason that the company has not written the contract in profitable terms maybe it is trying to capture market share otherwise the company would always try to write the contract on profitable terms so that would mean that the expected present value of benefit and expense would be less than the expected present value of premium right so if that is the case then the uh, reserve would be negative negative because the formula for reserve the prospective formula for reserve would be expected present value of benefit plus expected present value of uh, expense minus expected present value of premium in this case the negative figure which is the expected present value of premium is negative that's why 
the NASA would be negative. Uh, and it would obviously it would happen in the earlier duration, right? It would not happen at a later duration. Why? Because on later duration, even on best estimate basis, the model it would be higher, right? Uh, that would mean that uh, uh, the more time passes, the more the chance that person will die. So that means the model rate will increase. So once again, the margin that we initially, like if we are kind of reserving in prudent basis, uh, even in the initial duration, we are adding some margin. But suppose you are uh, reserving prudent basis, even at the later duration, you would be adding margin. Uh, already the modality is high and with the margin added, it will be even higher. Uh, however, in best estimate basis, it's almost at later duration, it is almost equivalent to adding that extra margin at the, in the prudent case, which you are earlier adding at the earlier duration. So, uh, so in this case, even uh, for a best estimate basis, the reserve is supposed to be, uh, you know, positive at later duration because the modality increases, right? If the modality increases, then obviously the expected present value of death uh, or the expected present value of benefits would increase. And that would mean at later duration, the reserve would be positive, right? That's exactly what I've explained because modality is higher at later duration and hence expected present value of benefits would be higher. Right. Most premium are also paid by the term time. Suppose a you know premium is for uh, suppose the term of the pr product is for twenty years and you are standing on the fifteenth year. So only five premiums would are left, right? And because we are calculating on prospective basis, we are only calculating what we are going to get in the future, right? So only five premiums uh, discounted value would be calculated. However, uh, for the death benefit, it would be very high because the mortality has gotten higher, and that's why. Uh, the reserve would be negative so this is this is the entire reason why reserve can be negative when you are writing the product on best estimate basis at earlier durations right so eventually the reserve would be negative 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 then at a point of time reserve would start swinging from the negative to the positive territory and finally at the later duration reserve would be positive right so implication for the company if the reserve is negative it is actually a good thing for the company Contrary to the positive or, or the popular opinion, it is actually a good thing for the company. If you are, if your reserve is negative, uh, that means that the contract is written in profitable terms, right? In fact, in best estimate basis like solvency to IFRS 17, reserve is supposed to be negative at the earlier duration. If it is not negative, then it means that you have deliberately written the contract on loss making terms. And why would a company like to write a product on loss making terms? There is no reason, right? Unless, as I mentioned, it is trying to capture some market in a new, new uh, place. Otherwise, there is no reason the company would write a product in loss making terms. It is not here for charity, right? So it depends on the basis, right? Uh, it as, as I mentioned, it is a good good thing for the company. It depends on the basis, so whether it is uh, whether the reserving basis is prudent or best estimate. And if the reserve is positive on best estimate basis, then that means the contract is loss making. So this is a problem for the company. This should ring all the bell. The you know this is this is a uh, th this means that there is there is the company is probably not pricing the product well or uh, there is something that the company is trying to do the company might be over aggressive etc cetera, etc cetera. that should mean in a best estimate basis if the reserve is coming out to be negative then that would mean the com policies which in i for a 17 term we call it onerous however uh, the problem with reserve being negative is the company should not go off the books what what do i mean by going off the books is there should not be any early death, right? Because that that point of time, enough number of premium has not been accumulated. So the policy is still, if you if the if the company uh, if the, there is an early death, then you are losing the asset, right? Uh, and you are you have also also have to pay the death claim, but you are also losing the asset because the reserve is negative means an asset. You are losing that asset. You are not able to hold that asset. Uh, the asset has some time value, right? You you only have a you have only realized a portion of that asset, right? But you have not realized the entire asset, right? So that's why uh, there should not be early lapse as well because that would mean it would go up the books or early deaths, right? So that's the implication of uh, reserve being negative. So I'd like to, uh, so that's that's it. So I think by this, uh, you would be able to understand that reserve can be negative. In fact, reserve being negative, on a best estimate basis is a good thing for the company even and if if on the prudent basis reserve is negative then it's a tremendous thing for the company then the profit then the product is written on a very profitable term right so uh, that's it i hope uh, this would burst all the means that the reserve cannot be negative reserve can be negative and we expect the reserve to be negative in fact 
the current regimes are all best estimate regime uh, although it is not the case in india yet but india would also move into uh, best estimate regime with ifrs 17 implementation whenever that implementation happens and most of the countries in the world uh, the advanced countries in the world are already in best estimate basis and they are uh, keeping reg uh, negative reserve so in this case i'll leave you the question which uh, i'll address in a later video so for unit link policies uh, can the reserve be negative there uh, and in for unit link policies there are two reserves right one is unit reserve and non unit reserve so can the reserve be negative now this time there is a giveaway so any person who can rightly explain this in the youtube comment section uh, will get that you know a t-shirt with the blue dragon logo and uh, if uh, so if you are interested please write uh, the answer for this question and uh, i'll personally come and you know answer if it is correct or not and if i get a good explanation uh, of that answer of that of this question then uh, i'll reach out to you to for your you know address and i will send you the you know t-shirt with the blue dragon logo so thanks for watching please like the video if it has increased your knowledge uh, please share this video with your friends please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you will be aware when i am uploading a video Thanks for watching and see you in future videos.